Okay, uh, continuing with this rate of change problem with this particle moving along the s-axis with the velocity given of v of t equals t squared minus 4t plus t uh, plus 3. t has to be greater than 0. Uh, we already know uh, part b says when is the body moving forward and when is the body, body moving backwards. Well, the body will be moving forward when the velocity is, its velocity is positive. It will be moving backwards when its velocity is negative. So we already knew from the problem before where velocity is equal to zero. Uh, it was at time one and time three. So I'll just make myself a little sign chart. And I'm going to put zero on here because, uh, and actually I guess that could be a bracket. Um, zero, uh, t has to be greater than or equal to zero. So just to be correct, on our intervals, I'm going to put a one there. I'm going to put that zero there. But three uh, in the positive direction, we have no uh, no restrictions on t. So uh, between zero and one, we have a value of one half. So we go into the velocity function, and we get one half squared is one fourth minus uh, two, which is eight fourths. So that's uh, negative seven fourths. And negative 7 fourths plus 3, 3 is uh, 12 fourths, 12 fourths minus 7 fourths is 5 fourths, which is a positive number. So we know that uh, the body is moving forward at least when t is between uh, 0, uh, greater than or equal to 0. And, uh, well, actually, we'll just say greater than zero. When t is uh, greater than zero, and because we don't really know, we didn't check at zero what it was. And it is positive, so, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and include it because we've included it here. So we'll check, we'll check zero, too. It is positive there, so it's definitely moving forward when t is greater than or equal to zero and uh, less than one. It's actually zero at one, so we're going to say it's less than one, but it is actually still moving forward at zero because we get a positive number. Um, and then we'll go to uh, the interval between one and three. Uh, two. Two squared is four. Four minus four times two is uh, four minus eight is negative four. Negative four uh, plus three is negative one, so we get a negative number. So that implies the we'll body uh, is moving backward. When the velocity is negative, well, we know that's in between. Is it's sitting still? Well, it, that might answer the. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's actually sitting still. That's like a little detail when the time is uh, when the velocity is equal to zero. So. Uh, ooh. So an interval t from uh, 1 to 3, not included because it's sitting still at the 0 points. Again, I don't know why I keep on mentioning this, but at 0, since t is greater than or equal to 0, and 0 <laughs> is in the domain of the velocity function, and the velocity is positive at 0, it's not sitting still. It is actually moving forward at 0. Uh, it doesn't say, no, problem doesn't say that uh, it's, uh, uh, starts from rest, so, and I don't know, this would imply that it wouldn't. Anyway, uh, it's debatable. Uh, so anyway, it's moving backwards when t is between t and uh, 3, uh, 1 and 3, and um, so now we'll go to the right of 3, um, just, just do 4, I put in 100 actually. Uh, you'd obviously get a, a positive number, so the body is also moving forward from uh, t is greater than 3. So the intervals where the body is moving forward is from 0 to 1, uh, t is equal to 0 or less than 1, and from t is greater than 3, and the body is moving backwards between 1 and 3.